Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Tin Can. Have a look at this. This is the uh, the leaderboard. I don't really care much for this sort of stuff. You know, like, I'm not a, a speedrunner, hyper-competitive type. I just like to show people games that maybe uh, get ex uh, interested in. In fact, someone was uh, commenting, I can't remember the name, but he was second on the leaderboard at the time and he only knew about the game because of me. Which, um, you know, that's essentially mission complete for me. That uh, maybe I created some of these people. <laughs> but it's just interesting, look at this. Um, that's 143 minutes, right? That's 2 hours and 23 minutes. Holy heck, that's intense. I don't know if you can pause the game or anything like that. That's probably a bit much, don't you think? At a certain point, when, when someone's sitting still for two and a half hours. I don't know. Like, nothing good for these blokes, but they're almost playtesting. I wonder if the existence of such high scores is an indication of how much, um, like, patching the game might need. You know, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's probably all sorts of game theories on the ideal gameplay loop. Um, unless you can actually exit and pause halfway through a mission. I don't think you can, though. Um, if you can, who cares at that point? But that would also sort of defeat the purpose, I would think. But yeah, I, I would... I would think if you're surviving for more than, say, an hour or something like that, maybe the difficulty needs to be tuned up. That, that sounds sensible to me, but anyway. Interestingly, the bronze thing, it's like a... I get silver if I survive for more time. That's interesting. Yeah, right. Interesting, this guy at the top died from overpressure. So I wonder if he was doing something with the actual pressure gauges or if he was just scrapping the pressure regulator early, which is sort of what we were doing actually. And down here, there he is in number 69. Good old Scarlet Squarehead. Very good, but um, yeah, I just thought it was probably worth having a bit of a squeeze here. Now, someone pointed out, apparently there's a bit of a known glitch where the, um, the O2 techs aren't emptying or something like that. Like, apparently what happened to us and our death may well have been a glitch that was being discussed on the Discord, which I don't frequent, so I appreciate the guys for commenting that sort of stuff. Someone also said that you can actually manually open the tanks yourself. And it would overpressurize the cabin a fair bit, but at least that would let, like, say, the O2 out and all that. And that, that's good to know because that's something we were running into where I couldn't, I couldn't cycle the O2 because I think all the CO2 tanks were full. But yeah, but it, uh, it seems likely it was a glitch. Anyway, let's bloody jump in and we'll give it a, give it a run. The fact that I'm doing 30 minutes at a time means... This would be interesting. If we do get to a point, we might have to split the episodes as I've done with some games like, you know space crew and all that sort of stuff. So if we do get a particularly good run, um, we might cut it in half. I'm not sure because I can't. I'm, I'm too time poor to really to do more than a 30 minute episode. All right, let's uh, let's go. I'll ch check straight away, actually, if you can pause your run. Color me curious. What else? I think someone was suggesting you could scrap like CRTs and, and hot hot switch them and that sort of thing, which, you know, that makes sense as well, I suppose. I guess you just got to come up with whatever you're more comfortable scrapping. But I think tearing the whole main light system to pieces early is probably the way to go. Um, I will say that occasionally I'm getting commentors and because uh, it's a pretty chatty community we've got here, people are sort of uh, addressing it straight away. But they're like, oh, you need more spare parts. And no, that defeats the point of this game. The point of this game is that you have no spare parts and you have to make really brutal decisions. Um, so yeah, if you're a bit upset that there's no spare parts, I would probably posit that you're playing the wrong game. There's a difference between um, acknowledging a game's not for you, but then also wanting a game to bend to your will sort of thing. Um, all right, so if I go main menu. Yeah, you can't continue a run or anything like that. Hmm. That's okay. That's good to know. But yeah, my, my point stands. I, I think um, I think two hours sitting still in one point is probably unrealistic, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. So, like, you're supposed to not have parts. It's supposed to be brutally hard. All right. Stuff this. Mm. 
Right, this seems sensible, doesn't it? Ah! Well, that doesn't sound good at all. Bad power trains. Ah. Okay, let's deal with that. Power transformer. Okay. Um. I guess I can just turn it off, right? Wait, did I actually scrap that? Just change all these bottles real quickly. Bad filter, not low filter. Low pump. So that would be not great for our temperature. There's a data connection problem there. Do I have a spare data? No, probably not. Not in here, right? Because we don't have... Right. Okay. Um... There's the buzzer. Where's the data connector live? I, uh, I'm looking straight at it. Okay. Come on. Bad caution alarm. Which is not, it's not cheap repairing the old caution alarm. So, it seems to me that Bad filter. And we're going through another asteroid thing. Great. It seems fixed when you go through certain areas, like this, like the asteroid field, and then, then you go through the ice nebula, then you go through the electric storm, and I guess it's random, the damage it does, so you could have a favorable run through. Oh, that's not good. I can't say I've heard that warning before. Low pump damage battery. God damn. What do we reckon that this problem is? Oh my god. Enough, enough, enough. Um, battery, power transformer, power connector. I guess we just, how do we repair this, you know? Um, I gotta think about this. I 
All right, this doesn't have a bad fuse. We know that. Ah, it was the fuse. Okay, that's good. Low pump, bad power trans... Bad, bad tra power transformer, okay. Okay. Bad master alarm. Low pump. Um, damaged battery. Bad caution alarm. Right, I think looking after the pile is probably pretty important. Bad fuse. that run for the moment. Okay, so we're through that. So the ice nebula is going to be the next, which isn't so bad. We just need to keep the power low and modulate sort of our systems. I worry about the electric nebula. I'm going to turn everything off if we make it to that. So as to protect all my fuses. Because the fuses are what's going to protect everything else. They're surge protection. I think if we do that, we should be able to get through the electric thing pretty easily, actually, if we turn everything off. But it depends how long you're in the electric void for. Like, we get surged right at the beginning, but it might be that you're in there for fucking ages. And you've got to run the risk the whole time. It's hard to say. Low pump on bat. Um... I can't repair that. Have I stripped everything out of this? I think I have. I mean, it's got to be the next. It's got to be the other lights. They've got to go, right? Why'd the emergency lights not go? Because they've got a battery. Oh, hang on. That can't be right. That's the emergency light system, right? Am I misunderstanding something here, team? Red, the red light. I thought this was off. 
Aha, much better. I was getting ready to reset my run, to be perfectly honest, because if the game had glitched and it gave me infinite lights, that's cheating. I'm not doing that. All right. Ice Nebula. Fuck, we gotta put this back together real quick. Um. Still too much draw. I'm going to have to turn the gravity off. Actually, I might be able to get away with cycling the temperature. Still too much draw. Hang on. Is the gravity really causing that much trouble? Okay. So I pretty much think we have to supervise this. CO2 levels are too high. Give me a handle, fuck. Alright, he's pumping. Slowly. Still raising. Uh oh. What are those error codes? I, I'm not looking up the manual right now. Low pump. Where the fuck is the pump? Pump. Coming down. The O2's not great either. Oh, what was the trick? Now stop, stop, stop! Fuck. <laughs> right, if anything, we've overdone it with the O2. Too much. Pressure's too high. Temperature, temperature.
Come on. And that needs to be pumping, which it is, which is good. Temperature's steady, even though it's got an error. Low pump. That's fine. Cooling's not the issue here. Breathability. CO2's climbing again. Come on. Grub, you bastard. Get that breathability back up. Alright. There we go. Alright, we've got good breathability, we've got good temperature. Stop breathing, funny, mate. All right, we're good. Now, draw's good as well. It was interesting. Letting off the, uh, the O2 bottle actually seems to have done us a big help. We're over-oxygenated, I guess. Are we out of the cold thing? I think we are, right? We're going back through some asteroids. Maybe we're not out of the tra draw cold. Oh no, it's coming up. All right, all our systems are back on. Too high O2. Yeah, see, look, it's not pumping out my... Oh, I guess that's full. The oxygen bottle's full. How do I empty it? Why am I generating, like, more oxygen? Look at this. It doesn't make sense. There's definitely something strange going on with the O2CO2. Wait, is that not scrubbing? It's 
a pump in it. Um, What? No, put that back. It's not pumping. Oh, I think we're fucked. There's only one thing I can think of doing and it's a bit drastic. Open. I'll um, scroll wheel. so much CO2 it's insane are you scrubbing at least yes good Oh, I don't know what to tell you. I can't. I can't deal with this. How can both bottles be full? It, yeah, I think I'm dead. I'm dead, right? Can barely move. All right, okay, that's frustrating. I, I'd be curious what people have to say uh, because that just seems strange. We're not, we shouldn't be generating anything. If anything, like the way it's a video game, right? There's video game systems. From what I'm assuming, the CO2 to the O2 conversion is a one to one. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but for some reason, we've got this issue where I'm ending up with full, full things of oxygen and full things of co2 i don't know i don't know what to do about that it's got to be a bug um yeah i was trying to troubleshoot it with like pressure regulation or something like that but that just doesn't make sense as well and the only way i thought of to get rid of the co2 was to try and vent the canister and you saw i opened the canister and it took out a quarter it was nothing and that's it. It bricked my entire atmosphere. I couldn't fix it at all. So I don't, I don't know what to make of it. Now, if I'm overlooking something, I'm absolutely open to that for sure. But, uh, but I think it's probably safe to say that, uh, as, as suggested in the Discord, that there's some sort of bug going on. That might be what's happening, happening here. But anyway, another episode in sort of thing. We'll have to see. Uh, we might actually have to put it on hiatus for a little bit until they bloody patch it, because that's two in a row that we've been done by that, by that bug. Hmm. Unless, like I said, I'm totally open to it being something else, but you guys saw right there for, for sure. We came to a point where I basically had full O2 tanks and full CO2 tanks. What do you do there? <laughs> you can't cycle anything. You can't do shit. So, um, yeah. Oh well. Oh well, so it goes. Alright team, thanks again for joining me. I might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.